driving cycles driving cycle is defined as the velocity variation of the vehicle with respect to the time under different driving conditions in city driving there are a lot of traffic signals and speed limits and depending upon the traffic conditions the driver has to go through frequent stop and go type of driving so this is one called as a frequent stop and go type of driving cycle. In another highway driving, the vehicle does not accept too often and most of the time it cruises with constant velocity. Exception is the overtaking and lane change. Here we'll discuss some common driving cycles. In the Bigger one, this is a smooth highway driving where we can see the vehicle accelerates at the beginning to reach the expected speed limit and it continuously cruises with a constant velocity for a significant period and then deaccelerates to exit the highway. This is the smooth highway driving. Another cycle is the highway driving with frequent overtaking and lane in the activities. This particular driving cycle can consume a significant amount of fuel to achieve the speed ripple requirement of the vehicle. So here we can see initially it will accelerate, then it will go with a constant speed. And again for the lane, lane changing, it will accelerate then some constant speed and again it will deaccelerate and again come to the another lane and it will again go for a constant speed and further it will have the lane changing by accelerating and again deaccelerating and coming to the normal constant speed so this is how it is the frequent overtaking and lane changing will have acceleration and deacceleration and smooth driving pattern. This type of driving cycle demand very high propulsive power from the power train because frequently it requires acceleration to overtake the vehicle and increase into the speed. The kinetic energy recovery from this system can be a benefit in the driving cycle because during the deacceleration for this portion during the deacceleration for this portion or similarly number of time there will be lane changing and deacceleration so it will provide a lot of regenerative braking during the braking action however this kind of driving pattern is not advisable to increase fuel economy regardless of which kind of vehicle someone drives Another is highway driving with unexpected traffic idling. This driving cycle goes through a few accelerations and braking events. Heavily electric vehicles can recover a certain amount of kinetic energy of the vehicle to enhance the fuel economy. So there is acceleration, there is a constant speed, and there is a deacceleration. So during this, there will be regenerative braking. Now, this is the unexpected idling and will take certain. Time that is idling time. Simply shutting off the engine during the idling will significantly increase the fuel economy and reduce the emissions of the highway emissions. So this is the idling time preferred to stop the engine here. And again, when the traffic is over, it can again accelerate. It will reach to its normal speed and again deacceleration. So this type of cycle is the unexpected traffic idling cycle with in the highway on the highway system. Another cycle is frequent stop and go type of city driving. In the stop and go type of city driving cycle, the nature of the driving cycle in urban areas cannot be changed and the behavioral change of the driver will not improve the fuel economy. So here it is not possible to increase the fuel economy by using the skills of the driver or the driving 
nature. Frequent acceleration, you can see there is a frequent acceleration. There is a frequent acceleration and deacceleration also. And idling characteristics. Sometimes there is idling time is also there to stop. The driving cycle provides great opportunity for hybrid electric vehicles to increase the fuel economy compared to conventional vehicles. So there is a big scope for regenerative braking and it can improve the fuel economy during these regenerative braking periods or deacceleration periods. Proper power blending between the IC engine and electric machines enables hybrid electric vehicles to increase the propulsive energy efficiency during the acceleration phase of the vehicle. Hybrid electric vehicles employ regenerative braking to recover the braking energy of the vehicle and they simply shut off the power trail during traffic idling as shown the earlier case also. Driving cycles and road conditions on fuel economy. In studies, flat road driving conditions are used to perform hybrid electric vehicle analysis. But it is not valid assumption to consider the flat road condition since real world road conditions are not flat as we prefer. In practice, vehicles should be able to drive uphill conditions downhill in flat terrain environments. So it implies that vehicles should be able to achieve expected driving cycle in different terrain environment. Therefore, realistic driving cycle should incorporate the geographical information of the road and the velocity variation of the vehicle for the entire duration of the driving pattern. Here are various other driving cycles considering the geographical locations also. So smooth highway driving in different road conditions. So we can see though it is shown in a smooth, but considering the road conditions, it may have the flat terrain condition and these are the slight variations. Also continuous uphill and continuous downhill terrain conditions also can be seen, though we say it is a kind of a flat, but still it is a downhill and it is a uphill conditions. Third is the hilly terrain condition. So continuously there is uh, ups and downs. So it is a hilly terrain. The fourth one, fourth example is continuous uphill and then continuous downhill terrain condition. So up to this, it is a continuous uphill condition. It will reach here and then it will go to the downhill. So as compared to this, here is the downhill is one path. Here's another, but the same path will go uphill and then downhill. 